happened is kind of embarrassing, but it's kind of funny. So you guys built a fort in your room? Yep. Do you want more milk? I don't like it. Okay, everyone grab a towel. Beep, 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 beep. I'm pushing her around the house for my workout. This is your workout? Today we're going on a field trip. What happened is kind of embarrassing, but it's kind of funny. We went a little far from our house and Laura just realized that she forgot her shoes. So we're meeting up with Kendra to give back some flip flops to Laura. I don't know what she was thinking. She was just gonna go barefoot. Nene, are we going on bumps? Yeah. Oh, bump. Oh. Whoa, whoa. Ah. Oh. Nene likes the bumps. We're hurrying in. We're totally trying to walk fast. So today's field trip is about water transportation. I ordered our tickets in Spanish. Do you like speaking Spanish? Most of the time. Oh, there's Laura. There she is. We got sailor hats. She's pretty excited about it. I'm so excited about Janae swimming. So the idea is that if she fell in, she could float and then swim to an edge, pull herself up so she wouldn't drown. Good job. It's so fun to study water transportation here because we're right next to the water. We can see the sailboats and the ferries and the cruise ships and the cargo ships and the yachts. There's everything. So we took the ferry over to San Juan and learned all about the ferry on the boat. Now we're going on the walkway that's called La Princesa and it goes around the city San Juan. It's supposed to be really beautiful and we can see lots of different boats coming in and out of the harbor and see how they manage all those boats. There's so many pretty buildings everywhere we go around here. Like, huh, let's just see if we can go in there. Yeah. How in the world they engineer all these things to float is amazing to me. Good job, Nene! I mean, this is her fifth lesson. I'm so impressed. Good time. This tree is magnificent. The way that the roots are up there. Did you find a good climbing tree? Yeah! This is! Whoa! So Caleb climbed up higher. Come back down, buddy. We climbed up as well. Is it a good climbing tree? I feel like the highlight of field trips or any trip are always the unexpected things, the things that you don't plan. And we did not plan on coming to see the old port. That was just a happy accident. And this climbing tree is amazing. Okay, let's open it up. She's excited. Yeah. 
now dust. Is it like a pet? Yeah. And we found a park. Hello, this is my house. Oh, that takes so much muscle. I do not know how you guys do that. I can't do it at all. Oh, it's slippery. Yes. The table is slippery. Yes, yes, yes. Three, two, one. Oh, she's running around, making music. Well, Janae just ate a bunch of eggs. Now she's eating some ice cream. Can you say ice cream? Ice cream. Ice cream. Still good. Huh? So this area of Old San Juan is called La Puntilla, and this is where the old port was, and we're able to see some of the ruins, some of the original cannons that were used way back when to defend this island, and to see what's left of that amazing history. So you can see that this is made out of brick and stone, and that's how you know it's the very old port all along this side. Caleb's checking it out, and we're holding on to it for dear life. <laughs> So along this path, they have some workout equipment. How's that feel? It's not that tiring, but I think it will get tired soon. Um, I'm gonna do it until I can't do it anymore. Uh-oh. So we're walking, and the kids are all exhausted. I mean, they can't even walk another moment. And then we see a park and workout equipment, and they're all energized and have tons of energy again. Back and forth, back and forth. Go for it, Caleb, go, go, go! Oh. Woo! So I think you hold on to that and like yeah. rotate your arms around. There we go, that looks, oh, you're doing both at the same time, you're smart. We say goodbye to our friends and it just starts sprinkling, but that actually feels nice because it's been hot out. We're headed to one of my favorite restaurants here in Puerto Rico to have some lunch. I'm always just grateful to find a gluten-free option. So there's all these empty seats right here, <laughs> and the kids have decided that it's more fun to all be on the same seat. I like going on a ferry, but someday I'm gonna go on a cruise ship. You want to? Me too. We're home. I'm exhausted but it's time for some school. Luckily, during quiet time is when the kids do their independent school, so everybody's working on math, Spanish, reading, writing, that kind of stuff. I'm excited to get some firehouse subs tonight. You excited? Mm. Cheese. Janae's so friendly. She's just waving to some other people here. Thank you. <laughs> no, we're firefighters. It doesn't fit me very well. I like your hat. Nene, your hat has a dog on it. <laughs> There's a dog on there. Okay. Nene was concerned that I didn't have a hat. Okay, Dad's a hat. You want to switch? Yeah. Okay. Well, our great day ended in a giant tantrum, a ton of tears, a lot of challenging parenting moments and some discipline and man it was hard guys parenting and familying is so hard <laughs> if it's hard for you too i just want to make sure that you know that you're not alone i have great kids and i love my kids i have a great husband love my husband I'm trying my hardest every day. And with all those things put together, it is still incredibly humbling and challenging because we are seven imperfect people. 
that are trying to like function together and obedience is hard and disobedience is hard and consequences and respect and boundaries it is all so hard so right now i'm going to do the one thing that sounds great and that's in my evening with a bubble bath i'm so happy that my kids are trained to come and get me when there's a beautiful sunset apparently this one has a rainbow in it That's amazing. Look, it's going through. A rainbow sunset. Good night, JL's out. Is there anything you know about mom that very few people know? That she goes through struggles and she tells us about them. And she tells us that someday we are going to have our own struggles when we are a mom too. And that's okay, and that we can handle them, and everything's gonna feel right. <laughs>